99, 100. Hello, this is Joe with Joe's Astrophoto.com. Today I'm working out to get ready for the astrophotography challenge across the pond. Ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. Hi, it's Glenn from astroblog.co.uk and I'm busy preparing for the astrophotography challenge across the pond. Cheers. Joe from joesastrophoto.com recently uh, contacted me and asked if I'd like to collaborate with him on an astrophotography project. Um, he lives in uh, Colorado in the United States in a remote location and has Bortle 2 to 3 skies. I live in the southeast of the United Kingdom uh, in Westcliff on Sea. I live in a built up suburban area and I've got Bortle 6 guys depending on how many security lights decide to come on at any given time. We talked through some ideas and came up with an astrophotography challenge across the pond. Obviously he'd be in one side and me be in the other. If we shot the same target with similar equipment what difference would our, our environments make to the final target? We have very similar equipment, um, we both are going to be using William Optics doublet uh, refractors, he has a Z81, I've got a Z61, we've both got Z, uh, ZWO cameras, uh, he has the 1600mm uh, and I've got the 294mm mono, uh, I might have a slight edge there because it's a newer camera and they've now unlocked the one times one binning, uh, giving a massive resolution on that camera. Um, and it'll also mean it'll work with my uh, Z61, it won't be uh, undersampled as it would with the uh, normal uh, setting that it came with, which is now the 2x2 bin. We both uh, agree to photograph the uh, Flaming Star Nebula and we're going to photograph it in narrowband in the SHO palette, which will help me uh, quite a bit considering uh, my skies because they are very light polluted. I'm just really hoping that Joe's patient because the UK weather has been well... Okay, who's bought some Astro gear? It's supposed to be clear and I've planned to image tonight. So on the equipment side of things, we do have very similar gear. Um, we both use the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro uh, and we drive them both through Nina with EQ Mod. Uh, we both have our own roll-off roof observatories that we've built and we both have homemade piers that our mounts are mounted upon. So equipment wise, very similar. It's just our skies and environment that really differ. One of the things we decided to also do to make the challenge that more interesting is once we've collected all of our subs rather than uh, processing our own data to show what, what we got we're actually going to swap our masters and we're going to process each other's data. So I hope you like the video and there is going to be two parts to it. The second part will be the uh, processing of Joe's data. He'll have a second part to uh, his, his first video which will be the processing of my data and, um, and we'll reveal what we get at the end. Um, I've discussed with Joe that we could possibly put both sets of data together and see if we can come up with something so that might be a further thing that I'll do. Um, I say I'm really looking forward to the challenge with Joe, it's always nice to have something to aim for, something new to do and I'm really pleased that Joe 
uh, asked me to do this. I'm uh, really excited about it and I'm really hoping it's not the only one we do. I'm, I'm sure this will be the first of many challenges that uh, we can do uh, from uh, two sides of the planet. This is one of the HA subs and I'm just going to get up an oxygen 3. The moon is very bright tonight and it is causing a few issues but um, I am getting some data so I'm going to continue on with it. Um, not much showing now on the flame but I'm sure once I get a few stacked it will come through. Uh, the sulfur 2 there's not much showing at all but again that's a single sub so maybe with the stack we'll get some more details. But yeah, we'll uh, keep going. We'll get as much data as we can together so Joe's got something decent to uh, process. Before I go, I'm going to show you the masters that I've collected for Joe and what I'm going to be sending him to process. If you've liked the video, please consider liking and subscribing. And I hope to see you all again soon and I wish you all clear skies. So here are the three narrowband uh, masters in PixInsight and these are what I'll be show, uh, sending over to Joe. I did do a quick stack uh, and a muck about myself. I didn't do a lot of work on them but just so that you can uh, have a look at all three of them stacked. Whoops, let's get it up. There you go. Um, as I say, it's, uh, it'll be interesting to see what Joe comes up with. I know he's just got the flaming star, so he'll mostly crop this down. I had a much wider field of view. But um, this is what I'm sending Joe, and I'm looking forward to receiving his, uh, his files to process myself. Please check out Joe's uh, YouTube channel. I know he'd appreciate your visit and your likes and subscriptions if you so wish to do so. But he's got some great content, and he's a really nice guy. But uh, I hope you all keep well and I look forward to seeing you in part two. Bye now.